Hello, I'm Patrick. And I'm Jeff. And for all the people who have joined us since Peachy's arrival to the channel, I'm sorry if you're disappointed that it's us too. But we may, for the next show, promise to shave our entire heads to make you feel more at home. He is an inspiration. Right then, so tonight we're just going to have a bit of a chat and do something that neither of us done before. Yeah. Is pick probably one of the most complicated miniatures in the Gene Steeler Cult Army. Is we're going to paint a couple of <laughs> a couple of acolyte hybrids, aren't we? I've never painted a face before. Oh really? <laughs> oh wow! And I then mean, we picked a really nice, easy one for a mutated human to do as mm, a face mix. Yeah, I mean, like pretty much, I paint exclusively on camera these days because yeah. I've struggled to. Uh, to find the time, so it was bound to happen. But and, and every other miniature that I painted, I've gone like helmet. Yeah, absolutely helmet. Right. <laughs> it's the, the strong tactical choice of the person that doesn't want to paint a face. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, it's like why would they have the helmets off in the fighting? It's just so stupid. Anyway. So yeah, so we're gonna and, and it's funny because I own a shed load of them from uh, Faith and Damnation's yep. uh, charity army, which was very kind of them to give me. So I've got loads of them, but I've never had to put paint to brush to miniature and do one myself so it's going to be a little bit of a uh, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge figuring them out yeah. as they go so um go easy on us because like literally uh, it's our first try at it and we'll see what happens don't go easy on us just <laughs> yeah. straight in well yeah you normally do <laughs> <laughs> no they do on the yeah. shorts which on we'll the talk shorts, we'll yeah, talk yeah. about we'll in talk a bit. about it in a bit yeah. but anyway yes should we get started yeah let's do Because I've had kids since my last dog. Yeah. This morning, with like the blanket, I was cold as in diarrhea, and it was like I took her outside and took it all off, and it was just like it was on my fingers, and I thought, pre kids, I'd have been yes. like, that. Yeah. oh my yeah, good yeah, god, yeah. I've got yeah. dogs Davey. in my hands now. I'm just like, yeah, Daka. been here right up to the elbow <laughs> since then. <laughs> Don't give a shit now. Just my dignity fucking left town many <laughs> years ago. But Heresy. 15 to be precise. Do you know what I mean? You just go. Heresy. Right, we're keeping that in, and now <laughs> <laughs> we're having a little pause from our painting. Yes, indeed. Mm. So then, it's been six months since we started. Yeah. Six months and a few days, 22nd of October. I am right, aren't I? May, June, July, August, September, October. Six months. Seems longer. Feels like a lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> Time flies when you're stuck in this tiny room with Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> I can only imagine and feel sorry for my customers on a daily basis, to be fair. Mm. But so it was not that long ago we stood outside chatting and you'd left, you were in your de death throes of leaving Games Workshop. Yeah. And were saying it was a shame because you really enjoyed the hobby and the aesthetics of it and you liked filming the miniatures and yeah and all the rest of it and my sadly my 
film review podcast had come to an end because my good pal Gavin, in case you're watching, hi Gav, had sadly moved back to Scotland. Yeah. And um, we both sort of ended up having that thing where we both looked at each other and went, well, oh, I can film like Toy Soldiers. And, and, you've and got you're, a gob. And you're a gob <laughs> like Toy Soldiers. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was a, a marriage made in heaven slash hell ever since, really. Yeah. And it's... Um, and we potted on, didn't we? We potted on, yeah. And we, we you know, we, we went through ups and downs with it, and goods and bads. And some videos were generally very well received; other ones were utterly hated <laughs> with a vengeance. <laughs> I would expect nothing less from no, the hobby no, community. You're absolutely right. And yeah, um, yeah um, and then we mainly had a more successful run with shorts. Yeah, the shorts are doing pretty well. It's, yeah. I think, YouTube. Uh, uh, I don't know, pushing them. Yeah. Um, I feel like the first ones that we sort of did, which was just kind of like clips from the painting videos with some kind of like chill music over the top of them, yeah. um, hadn't necessarily been done before. No. Um, so, so I think they were quite quite well, well received. Not necessarily the painting. Um, but I think like with the shorts, it's quite... There's something that we've become conscious of over time is... I think you have to be really sort of ob obliviously say, this is what we're doing, this is who it's aimed at, all in like a minute. Yeah. Um, is is because say like even like, I mean, say we, we get, I get comments on my painting and I'd be like, well, I'm crap at painting. So yeah. this makes sense. And, yeah. I, and I, I'd chat to people and, and it was quite interesting because some people would be like, oh, I would do it this way. And I'm like, oh, cool. That's actually interesting. And someone would go, this is garbage. Um, and I'd be like, What's wrong with it? Help, help me improve. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, so, Tell me. There was a, a comment about the Iron Warrior, um, and he was like, "It's it's too metallic. It just looks like a half painted pewter model." Um, <laughs> that was great. That yeah. I was always talk, <laughs> talk about not knowing what you're talking about if ever there was and, a. And, um, and and it's kind of like well, the Iron Warriors are kind of metallic. Metal. Um, yeah. So and, he, and 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 he was saying like, and you know everyone's entitled to their opinion, of course. Um, and so, so it engage with people, and you get a bit of hate, and and or like someone would put a comment out there, and be like, "This is the worst thing I've ever seen, and you should quit." And I'd be like, "How could I improve?" And they'd be like, "Oh, sorry, okay, yeah, so actually." <laughs> um, but I immediately felt better when I watched a um, Rich Gray video, yes. and 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 he said, that, "God amongst men, that he is." Yeah, yeah. Won how many Slayer swords? Oh, God. And and someone someone in one of his videos, he, like he'd said, oh, in a previous video, somebody said that I'm glazing wrong, <laughs> or that I don't know how to glaze, and I'm like, right, okay. I just feel honoured to be able to watch one of his videos. Never mind, start giving yeah, him hate about yeah, how he's yeah. doing stuff. And it's like, you know, were, were you alive when you know people set foot on the moon? It's like I was alive when Richard Gray was making YouTube videos. But um, <laughs> it's if if if. People will say that to Richard Gray, then, then like I immediately just felt better. Yeah. Um, about about everything. Well, yeah. it just makes you know that it makes you aware. Whether they're right or wrong, everyone has an opinion, and a lot of people like to make sure you know what they are, don't they? You yeah. Know, for the for, yeah. you know for better and worse, really. Yeah. And I think, you know, that was still became massively apparent when Peachy joined us, and we started putting out the shorts of, of yeah. his long form videos. And people were hating what he did. Well, I mean, it, it, it was interesting. Like, I, I, I feel now because I've like you know we've taken Peachy into the fold, and people can comment on his videos. Yeah. Um, and they say that uh, the the Navy breaches the video, the full video, really well received. Yeah. People people like it. Um, like it's it's a a different way of painting from like a tutorial point of view. In that it's like. You can be messy, you clean up afterwards and you bring it all together at the end. Yeah. And it's like, you can leave it here or you can take it further. Um, and the leave it here short has done pretty well. I think currently at the time of recording is, is nearly 90,000 views on the short. Cool. Um, and like, it gets a lot of crap. Um, oh yeah. So, and, and I, I feel from an editing point of view, like going through this process, pardon me, um, I feel responsible for that in a way because like we've made Peachy's made a video that's set like it's aimed at anyone 
Like, yeah. but someone could buy the box and go, I have no idea what to do with this. Watch the video. You could paint your kill team. Probably not as fast as Peachy, because he's a wizard. Oh, who can? <laughs> I, do- I feel guilty making the thumbnails, and it's like, paint crew in 15 minutes, because he literally painted them 15 minutes each. And it's like, it's not fair. <laughs> I mean, I, I think, because we, we timed the whole thing, he actually painted them in like 12 and a half minutes. But I put 15, because I just thought that sounded too unrealistic. It sounded like I bragged, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, like it's it's a shame in a way that um, that now with with like with there's a bunch of shorts that we've already recorded and, and I just haven't edited yet. But um, I think you know moving forwards we absolutely will have to. And somebody commented on one of them and they were like, "There's loads of comments on here that are like really unwarranted." Yeah. But when you say something is speed painted, you know you you might have Marco speed paint something. And, yeah. he, and that might be, I painted this in three hours. Which is speed painting for Which, him. Which, yeah, and, and that quality of his work is outstanding. So, so like, speed painting gets thrown around quite a lot. And, and I think we need to specifically say, hey, here's a nice, easy, beginner-level tutorial to get your miniatures from plastic to tabletop. Because this is a problem. So speed painting means a whole range of different things to different people, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's it. it. And, you yeah. Know, and, and, yeah. And I think as well, and... and if we're being honest about it as well, I think people, when it comes to painting for this hobby, have been, and I mean in the nicest possible way, a bit spoilt because they've seen constantly phenomenal great painters. Yeah. You know, Richard Gray's phenomenal, Infernal Brush being Dave Perryman. Yeah. It's very good. The guys over at Cult of Paint knock out some fantastic work. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all, Trevar- of, the, all Trevar- of the guys. Trevar- yeah, Trevar- 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 yeah. is really good. There's a whole host of great painters. And I think you've got a little bit spoiled because you just, a lot of people just used to see it, extremely good painting mm. all the time. But what, you know, a lot of the time they're only painting single miniature because yeah. it's a condensed video. You don't know how long they've been painting for. Yeah. And you just get used to seeing what are like mini masterpieces. Yeah. And then you've got Peachy come along who's going, I'm not doing your masterpieces. I'm doing you the core of what this whole blum and hobby is about is yeah, getting yeah, yeah, a box yeah. of guys on the table and then let's get the other box of guys on the table and then the bits yeah. that they're going to shoot around, yeah. let's paint that too yeah. and get you going. Yeah. And then not only that, but does it in two stages. You know, Here's enough to get you playing and if you want to revisit them, yeah. here's the way yeah. to finish them or just take it through to that and all in one go. Yeah, yeah. And I think, um, I think the way me and you paint, well, me and you blunder our way through miniatures. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, some people enjoy that because they go, oh, I feel like I'm watching stuff that's around my sort of level. Yeah. And then other people just hate us because we are producing masterpieces. <laughs> One of my favourite comments was, why is the painting on this channel so bad? <laughs> <laughs> go, because, you know, it's like, you, you, you know, it's this, it's this thing of just sort of going, you know, we're showing you what we do. And, and you know, and a lot of people paint, and I don't wish to be sound insulting, but a lot of people paint roughly our level. Yeah, yeah, and, you yeah, know, yeah. It's just like, or like yeah. have have the time to um, yeah, like this this jeans dealer. You know, we what you come over on an evening. Yeah, and my girlfriend usually goes to bed at eleven, and I don't want to like keep her up all yeah. all night with us going contrast paints. Yeah, um, <laughs> so we we've got a couple of hours. Yeah, you know, it's yeah. By the time yeah, we yeah, set yeah. up and all of this amazing equipment, because obviously you use it. In other jobs and you, for your, your day job, and then it has to come in and then change its role into this, and then get set mm. up and then get going, and then you know get painting and then go home, and it's it's you know <laughs> you know don't get me wrong, the long term aim is that you know we be able to have a, a day where we can do it all day, but you know at the moment that's not the case, and yeah, and I think um, I think what people forget is you Richard Grays out there. They have their equipment and they sit down and they do. I'll do two hours today. Yeah, I'll do yeah. two hours tomorrow. I'll do a bit here, a bit there, and yeah. then produce, put something together, and it's a stunning piece of work. And you go, yeah, you know, we're trying to show you the realistic world that we <laughs> we all like, live in. Yeah, like I feel like it's it's um, you know I think there's a place for every level of painting in yes. the in the hobby. I think so too. Um, I think that it's a shame that some of the videos, especially Peachy's, um, get get the abuse that they have but i think as a learning experience i think it's as as like the editor of it it's my responsibility to sort of 
having learnt from it, make sure everybody's aware of what they're getting into immediately. Rather than... Because I think, you know, it's 50-50. Like, people shouldn't be... Seen us! Yeah. Um, like, they're responsible for that. Mm-hmm. I'm responsible for letting them know what they're about to watch. Yeah. And it is a balancing act. Like, I've got to take some respons- responsibility for it as well. Um, yeah, I know, yeah, I know what you mean. And, and But the thing is, as well, isn't it, you know, how... How weirdy does your explanation of like? You oh know, yeah, yeah. Become oh, like... This, oh, this would be so much fun. You'd be like, okay, we're gonna speed paint a custodies. You get through the explanation. Spray gold. End. <laughs> 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 like it, they can't, they can't have disclaimers on. You know, I would never make a video going. Please don't say nice naughty things about us. Yeah. Say nice things. You know, yeah. you can't do that. It's stupid. No. Like, I mean, we're gonna get haters. Of course yeah, yeah. we are. Um, I think, I think with Peachy coming involved and more light being put on the videos it's quite an interesting experience um which i'm sure lots of other creators have gone through as well yeah absolutely right um, and i think you know and i think the thing is is that peachy does i think like i said this when when i interviewed him he's he's this great he's the the great middle gap uh, middle point isn't he you know there's us that sort of paint within our ability and within our limited time mm. and and then peachy who can turn up and do stuff better than us and seems to be able to have some weird time machine in his pocket where time stands still for the rest of the world while you paint something yeah and it gets it all done in no time at all yeah, goes, I mean, yeah but you know he, he but we know peachy can knock out amazing pieces of wear oh massively but, but he, he knows to contain it to what he's doing for, for yeah i mean the for playability for the want one, a better word the, i remember when i was at gw and uh he would do his painting videos like the youtube painting videos and um, because it's, you know, battle ready, put your base coats on, wash it, um, and then parade ready, put some highlights on. Um, it was kind of like, is that all he does? Like, I was like, they, they look great. Um, but, you know, seeing him sort of limited in that structure and all that sort of stuff. I remember looking at his Gene Stealer army and he painted pin up Gene Stealer models on the side of all of his tanks. I'll have to have a look at this. And I was just thing, like, Jesus, holy deviant! Yeah. Like it, it was, it was insane. It was just like, and and then it was very, very quickly realised that the man just, with in in you know, in terms of painting, because uh, in real life, oh, like he has no ego, um, and it, like he he will happily paint like like those uh, breaches. Um, he could have spent hours on them and made them look utterly phenomenal. Yeah, but that's not what he wants to do. No, um, like. He wants to to, to help people. It goes back get to what, on the table. It goes back to what we said about um, about sometimes on some of the master classes on Warhammer Plus. And I don't want to go down the Warhammer Plus rabbit hole because we never come out of it. But there was videos we watched where we felt like you were you weren't learning anything. You were just watching an expert paint. Mm. And you know, and and some of the top painters out there that I I love watching Richard Gray, but you know, it, it doesn't. In, inspire me to pick up a paintbrush and follow him it makes me want to just take my paintbrushes and burn them <laughs> you know what i mean so but and and peachy knows to to be able to he knows when he can slide down and slide up the mm. scale to get yeah, what he yeah, wants yeah. And, and i think when sometimes people go no these are crap and you're going hey you haven't really took any notice that it's a one minute video of a longer process and you're not really taking much notice of the fact is that it's intentionally just to get you playing with them yeah and, you know that's why we're not painting one He's showing you ten painters because it's the idea of a squad of them. Yeah. If it was one painted to an amazing level to go in your glass cabinet, that's cool. But that's not yeah, what he's doing. Yeah, yeah. And I think you know, I think uh, I think hopefully eventually that mindset will will sort of click with is that's what the painting phase do. Yes. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Let him off the leash every now and again, maybe. <laughs> well, I mean, he's on his own leash. Yeah, well, that's true. He yeah, is on his own he, leash, he does yeah. what he wants to do. Uh, yeah, we got like we got some kit bashing videos coming out. Um, which would be really fun. And as I was fil- it it's quite interesting from a filming point of view because I'm like, I keep saying, I'm a new hobbyist. You know, I've been doing it for like a year now, but yeah. maybe with the time that I've actually put into hobbying, um, <laughs> it's probably like two months. Yeah, the hour and a half stints of an <laughs> yeah. evening in Manus yeah. yeah. where we've been filming. Um, I've just been like, oh, cool. Like, that's really interesting and that's cool. And and like, we adjust the scripts because, cause, I mean, I, I was watching Peachy turn... Uh, things into zombies yeah. and I always think of kit bashing I, I think of like immediately thinking like Pete the Wargamer and the, the dead animal bits and three out of five and it's like you need modelling tools and green stuff and this and I'm like oh um, 
Although Pete is great. Yes. At what he oh, does. He's oh, brilliant at it. Isn't absolutely he? phenomenal. But I, I love that he diverts games workshop stuff. They go, here you go, Peter. And he goes, <laughs> oh, you've sent me that. Let me turn that into <laughs> chaos. <and Yeah>. whatever. <laughs> Is he made a, he made a tank out of the um oh, that, oh, that scenery? The, out of the terrain yeah. and just the video thumbnail was just like big chungus. And I was like, <laughs> Yes, Pete. Yes. <laughs> um but yeah, but, um uh, like Peach was kit bashing um spoilers, turning stuff into zombies. Um and it's like you cut the foot off and you rotate it in so it has like a weird zombie gate. Yeah. You kind of move the arms up a little bit. Um, or you can replace some of the arms with like zombies and stuff. I was like, hey, but you, yeah, but I you was s- like kit bashing. I thought was quite intimidating, but that's actually quite approachable. And then he was like, "That's a very good introduction," because yeah. he was like, "I just do it like, and I have done for like twenty years." I I think um, that's the thing, isn't it? It's like it's not throwing parts at it. It's knowing that a, the gait of a zombie walking will be differently. Will mm, be different. Moving yeah, a foot yeah, will yeah. do that. Yeah, and I think and you, did you say to me that he made one of the zombies entirely only out of parts of its own kit? Yes. And you think you know? I've never seen anybody yeah. build zombie miniatures without having to go to some sort of yeah. dead, un- yeah. dead undead slash sort of kit. Yeah. Yeah. So he had a a um, a KD, just K, old Cadian trooper, and he took the open hands from a tank. Yeah. Commander is it yeah, or yeah, like yeah. one of the heavy gunners I think or something. Yeah, yeah. And and you know put them up in like the thriller pose, <laughs> yeah. um, and then you go a bit more advanced and you chop the chop the hands off. You put the dead walker hands on and you change the head. And then a lot of it comes in with the paint job as well yeah. and, and how messed up they'll be. Um, so I'm eager to see what those look like. Oh, he's a revelation. He, he is. really is. I'm very glad to have him on board. Oh, couldn't couldn't be more pleased. Yeah, really couldn't. Yeah, yeah. especially because mainly the the main reason I couldn't be more pleased is it means that our viewers don't have to just keep suffering us. <laughs> I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. You know. I, I prefer to be behind the scenes. Yeah, well, talk of suffering, suffering what we do. Should we crack on with these neophytes? I think that's a very good idea. Right then, let's get on. We're done. Swearing and tears and it's a couple of you know, we don't show the bit where I go outside and have a tantrum and scream and then come back in again and carry on. <laughs> what are they going to say about this on shorts? Yeah. I just really think. <laughs> on the phone to your wife. Yeah. <laughs> they go, Jeff, you you are gonna have to go down the stairs now. You can't just kick them down the stairs. <laughs> right then, so we went in two entirely different schemes, didn't we? Which I'm really pleased about, to be honest. Yeah. Go on then. Let's see what we've got going on. So, talk you through mine. Please um, do. Spread it white. Yep. And I, 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 you can tell that I have been watching uh, Peachy paint quite a lot. Um, <laughs> no bad thing. So, so I took um, lots of his ideas and uh, smushed them, smushed them into uh, into the miniature. So, spread it white. Well, you sprayed it white. Thank you yes, very I much. Yes, did. Yep. That um, new spray, that new white spray from GW. Quite yeah. like it. So from sepia to give the, make the armor a bit creamy. 
um, picked out the uh, blacks and the metallics, washed it all with Targo Raid Shade, um, and I think my, my favourite part of the mini is the armour. Um, Looks really good. And if I try to paint that, like... Long form. Yeah, I, I, it would be awful. So thank you, Peachy, for making me look like I am a better painter. Um, <laughs> and that's what his aim is to do for all of you. <laughs> uh, yeah, so already uh, I'm like, hey, Peachy's on something. This is great. Because, oh, can you imagine, like, recess shading, or, uh, all of those, and then layering back up over the ribbly bits. Just do you like, know no thanks. Do you know what I like about it is the fact that <laughs> the thing that made the... Uh, as I look at it, more think about it is the fact is it looks more like a mutated human. I like the colour scheme that I've gone with, but it's the classic Gene Steeler colour color, color scheme. That looks like somebody who is once an ordinary human being has been mutated into that thing yeah. by having that sort of flesh tone. So, and I like that. Yeah, I mean, I'd, I've never, never really painted skin before, so um, I, I'm not sure if... I, I think I would have preferred it a little bit brighter. Yeah. Um, I think I was supposed to use catch and flesh, but... Um, I couldn't find it, so he's Kislev instead. Mm -hmm. um, Gilliman Flesh applied perhaps a little bit too heavily. Tried to put some Juju Violet on to differentiate between the kind of like armoured arms and then the hands and that kind of thing. Um, but overall, for a quick little paint job, um, I think I, I, I certainly got my finish before you. You did, by a long way. Um, <laughs> by by uh... About an hour and a half, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, like it's all right. Uh, um, we've been uh, using the, some dirty down rust on the base, um, mm. and that was just like following uh, Peach's method that he did on the um, on the scenery from Into Dark. Um, I did forget to uh, dry brush it, so I just did that right at the end. Yeah, it looks so, good though. Um, but yeah, overall, as as a as a painting experience, I thoroughly enjoyed this with its with his little face. Um, oh, his little face. His, his, oh, his cute little face. Um, don't hate it. Um, nope. I think I, I think like this is. I, th I think I would find a human face harder. Like this has really defined features. Yeah, defined features. features that you can like. Well, I need to highlight there and there and there and then across here. Yeah. Um, and and that's been okay. I, I've kind of I tried to purple up the back of his head, but it just kind of turned brown. But, but again, it works. There is a bit of a fade um, on there, so it's not the end of the world. But. Nope. As a gaming piece, um, I'd be chuffed with that. Um, I think it looks great. Yeah. I'm it's not actually... a way I've seen them painted before, but I like it. It's got to yeah. be said. Yeah. So I'm all about, yeah, the base coat being like the armour. I think what took me the most time was just like layering up the skin. Yeah. Um, just because I didn't want to get it all over the other stuff that I'd already painted. Um, so yeah, skin may be a bit too dark. I don't think the Juju Violet on the arms work quite as well as I wanted it to. Um, so maybe something else but I, I, I'm not a good enough painter to know what I should have done and also you've never painted one before yeah so, so yeah you know 10 in might be a different story it's like a Fisher Price my first jeans dealer <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> absolutely like I say that the irony is the fact I've got a box full of them but I've never yeah. painted any of them myself yeah right then so my chap is in the traditional standard uh variant of what they look like yes you will notice there's an odd silver bit where i managed to just at the very last second as is always the way put my thumb on it with the <laughs> silver paint on. is that what that was <laughs> the very last second last thing i did i managed to somehow miss grab me brush and managed to do that but yeah so he's gone all the standard way he's got some um he's got some slanesh gray for highlights in his face followed by a little bit of um palette witch flesh uh, the armour has been done with uh, Cantor and Altioch blue and then Hoeth blue over the top of that and then so and then there's been nun oil over it as well to deaden it down in places. But yeah, so he's the standard sort of variant. I did like which um some of this some of the ideas just came from uh, a very old uh, Mr. Rhodes video from back in the day. Oh, right. I think it was when they were very first released, um before they were even a proper army they were in, like at um like one of these like box set games. Oh, like Space Hill. Yeah, but it was um I can't remember who they were versus. Probably Space Marines would make sense, wouldn't it? Um oh yeah, I can they were versus Death Watch. 
Oh, right. And it was like a little game in a box almost. And um, and uh, I think he was painting them for that. It was before, or maybe just when their first codex had come out. But he um, talked about painting the entire uh, miniature in Agrax. Uh, and then it actually used Agrax to point that over the uh, the Mechanica Standard Grey that we started with. Turned the trousers almost into like a mil very dark military green. Yeah, so generally, very pleased with it. Um, I think, uh, you know, because I've got, because of the current meta of how to play Gene Steeler Cult. Oh, right. I might have another 30 of these gits to paint. <laughs> oh, they're pretty good. Yeah, they're currently pretty good. They're the mainstay at the moment that everyone really likes. So, um, Well, there you go. Yeah. You've, you've only got 29 more. Oh, paints. see, thank you very much. <laughs> He's like on attachment from a different cult. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. But secondment. Yeah. Absolutely. But generally, yeah, it was a good little, uh, it was a good little video to do. Yeah. Pleased enough with it. Yeah. You know. But uh, you know, like I say, mine's uh, mine's no great shakes. It's the way we're all used to seeing them. But um, yours is something a bit different. And I'm uh, yeah. impressed with them, man. Especially for our first go. Yeah. Not terrible. Cool. So. Let's just say them six month journey it's been so far and thank you very much for all people have left lovely comments pre and post peachy which yeah. has been very very nice of you and all the subs and likes and everything else it's really really helping yeah you know and those of you that also have um joined patreon which is really really kind of you it's yeah great fantastic really. we have a great community over on the discord uh you can get early release videos and uh, behind the scenes and what we're up to all sorts of good stuff it's really helping and uh as we always say everything we've used tonight can be found at element games and it's in our <laughs> there's some affiliate link. links yeah, yeah. There, there might be a european one in there at some stage uh so somebody from germany has been e emailing us for yeah uh, so if you're that, um so. If you're one of our uh, German viewers, we might be able to help you out soon as well. Yeah, or if you're French and just like to buy things from Germany. Yeah, so on uh, on that note then, be the same. <laughs>